Good day, YouTube family. Big Vigil here, and um, my uh, little uh, man here decided he wanted to join in and uh, be involved in the video. Camera's that way, though, Scout. Turn around, face the camera, say hello. Say hello. Hello. This is Scout. He's a bit of a uh, camera whore himself. Yes. Off you go. Um, week 19, my update. Um, Christmas week. Um, it's been a week of celebrations and good times, and um, oh, I've enjoyed some um, some celebration foods and whatnot, but I've been pretty uh, well self-controlled. Uh, my numbers, I uh, this morning was 98.6 kilograms. That's uh, 100 gram loss since last week, which is next to nothing, um, which was expected. Um, I, in fact, I was expecting to um, probably even have put on a kilo this week, um, given the just the amount of snacks and foods and little treats. We've had a bit of um, gelato and um, finishing off the you know Christmas leftovers and that sort of thing as well. So um, it's been a week of um, of consistent eating and not a great deal of exercise apart from cleaning up after the kids. Um, but. At the same time, been a been a great week, and um, have done well. You like my uh, my Batman shirt? See, I uh, said to my wife, I'm you know I'm working on growing my own abs, but I've just bought some. You know, I've got this, these nice abs now. See, well, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, I'm looking fairly uh, fairly trim. Not doing too bad there. Um, not too much fat bags in here. A little bit, little bit down there. Not not a great deal. Got some. Got some some beef there. Oh, there's a bit of beef. That looks looks alright on the camera. Looks like I'm strong. Um, Batman. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, been been a, a, an awesome week. Lovely uh, just being at home and uh, enjoying the pool and uh, spending time with the kids and the family and uh, and having a good one. Um, it's New Year's Eve uh, right now. What's the time now? Three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we were going to be going down to Threadbow, which is our um, snow fields here. Um, of course, there's no snow in summer uh, in Australia. Um, but uh, in fact, in winter, you're lucky if there's <laughs> snow in Australia. But anyway, um, we were going to go down to Threadbow. Uh, I was going to meet up with a bunch of old schoolmates, but we had to cancel because my wife forgot that mid-year um, she had bought tickets to see The Lion King for um, uh, herself and uh, our two youngest and um, and also her mom and grandkids. So extended family. I'm not going, but Jen and her is helping her mum take all the grandkids out to, to go and see The Lion King in the city on New Year's Day. And if we went to Threadbow, that's a six hour drive, we wouldn't be able to get back in time for it to go. So we had to uh, cancel our plans, which was a bit of a shame because it would have been good down there. They had fireworks and a band and that sort of stuff down there. And it would have been a good opportunity to catch up with some old mates. Um, but I'll do that again another time. So, um, yeah. So uh, for New Year's Eve tonight, it's probably just going to be, um, yeah, we'll stand out on our, our front balcony. We can look across to the city skyline from here so we can watch the uh, fireworks um, going off over the Harbour Bridge and, and the city uh, from our front balcony. Um, we can see the just in the distance, you know. Um, and there's also, we're actually closer to Botany Bay here and there's fireworks at nine o'clock at Botany Bay as well. So we'll be up and celebrating for that, which will be, uh, which will be good. And uh, going out for dinner tonight, going out for a Thai meal. Uh, our favourite little restaurant, the Banana Leaf at South Hurstville. If you're ever in South Hurstville and you need a good meal, Banana Leaf is the place to go. Beautiful people and uh, great food, good service so, um, and good value. So uh, we're going there for tea tonight. So what did I do for Christmas? I told you I was going to have two prawns for Christmas. Guess what? By the time I had my little piece of pork and a bit of ham, I couldn't fit the prawns. My prawns stayed on the plate. I never actually got to finish them. In fact, what I did, I peeled them and gave them to my mum. So my mum enjoyed the prawns instantly. But I didn't have any prawns on, on uh, New Year's Day. But I did have some the day after. So um, we had some leftovers. We bought two kilos of prawns between the 12 people which is not a lot really. Um, we used to do like three kilos, but then I would normally <laughs> eat probably half of those. Um, 
but yeah, I didn't have room for it this time. Um, so I um, I had one plate of food for Christmas, and uh, I tried a little bit, a uh, bit of turkey, a bit of a uh, bit of ham. And when I say a bit, I'm saying you know something like that, just a like a half a slice sort of thing of of each type of meat. Um, uh, potato salad. I had like two teaspoons of potato salad, like a couple of chunks of potato, uh, a little bit of egg and mayo in, in that. Um, my sister-in-law makes this fantastic beetroot salad and she, and it was done with some, this Peru, 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 Perusian from, per, is it Peru? Okay. Anyway, some Middle Eastern, yeah, Peru is Central America, isn't it? So South America or whatever. And this is, I'm talking about Middle East. Persian. That's the word I was looking for. Persian. So there's this Persian thing and it's like, it's a beetroot salad and it's got this ducca on it and um, uh, the pistachios and um, uh, pomegranate juice. And oh, beautiful. So I really enjoyed that with a bit of rocket lettuce in it as well. So a little bit of a bit of, bit of tang to it, which was really good. Um what else did I have for Christmas Day? A um, little bit of pork crackle, like one piece, um, which is always good, too good. Um, and then, you know, several hours later, I had, a, uh, had some um, uh, hazelnut gelato, which is just oh, so good, um, beautiful. Um, and a couple of glasses of champagne and a, a little bit of dessert wine, a bit of... Um, uh what was it anyway it was just a nice dessert wine and um yeah it was it was lovely we had a great time with the family um all went very well um rather than just rave on um i'm hoping to be involved with fat kings friday uh this uh coming friday or thursday from for me but uh, um oh, yeah no sorry friday for me but thursday for the guys over in the states so um um, we'll see if that pans out or not. I've been in touch with TJ and, uh, and Harry Draco girl. So, uh, hopefully that pans out because I reckon it'd be a bit of fun. And, um, I don't know if my, uh, if my gorgeous wife is going to be around. She's also a Jenny. Um, and, uh, I don't know if she'll be around, but if she is, I might see if we can stick her face in and you can interrogate her. Although she's a bit private, so she may not want to. So I'll just respect her and what she wants to do. I'm the attention whore here, not her. So, um, you know, she's uh, she's fine with me getting on and doing what I do. I, you know, I always tend to get into the social media when I, whenever I'm doing something. So, um, why would it be any different now? Um, the first time I lost uh, a lot of weight was before I had the surgery. In fact, I got down to ninety six point five kilos. So, um, you know, another two kilos lower than I am currently now. I managed to get to just by diet and working out, um, which was terrific. I did the 12 week body for life um, plan, but I didn't do it in 12 weeks, I did it in 24 weeks. I took, I did it twice, one after the other, and I lost 20 kilos with that, because my starting point with that was lower. Um, and I got down to 96.5 and I looked terrific and I was really toned, really good. That was back in uh, 2004, so nine years ago. Um, but the problem with that was I couldn't maintain that lifestyle. I couldn't maintain that discipline. And um, I just struggled and fought to try and uh, keep the weight off. And uh, which was what led to my decision to have the surgery, which I've never regretted. So it's been, been good. Anyway, hopefully I'll catch up with you on Friday. If not, I'll catch up with you next week after New Year's. To everyone out there, have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And... Um, have a good time celebrating with families and loved ones. Don't get too drunk, but make sure you do celebrate. And um, have a good one. Love you all. Bye.